Hey everybody, so I just wanted to do a beach video, it was completely boring, uh, there was nothing to find, so, but I started talking about something because a guy was staring at me and it reminded me of a subject I've kind of meant to talk about, but I don't want to talk about because it, it, it can make you seem really like up your own ass. but we're really not and that's the point of it. I'm down on the beach and from about 200 meters away I'm noticing this guy staring at me and he, he, you know, he's not looking left or right, he's not looking around, he's just looking at me. And we carried, I carried on doing what I was doing and he, walking along, he was walking along towards me with a group of people and I'm like, something is, do you know me? I'm assuming you, maybe you recognize me or just questioning why there is there a guy in bike gear walking up the beach, I don't know, but it was just such a long transfixed stare, it normally means mm, I know you. And they walked past me, nothing was said, and then I thought, right, I'm gonna turn around in a minute and see if he's looking at me. I turn around and boom, he's staring straight at me, trying to walk, that, like, walk along while looking backwards and I'm just like, if you know me, say hello. I'm not being having a go or anything. I know some people have, you know, you're very socially uh, shy and you don't feel like coming up and saying hello. But it does mean that we, it can make a YouTuber start to feel a bit crazy. Well, thanks. Well, I didn't actually have to adjust my speed really, so. When you get known as a YouTuber, it happens more in your local area people spot you they come up and say hi you know you have a little chance with people and stuff you very often see the same people regularly you know you get used to seeing them there and you're like you're right mate and then, yeah it's nice i like it but you also because of that because you know people are actually out there and know you you start feeling a little bit paranoid about people looking at you out in public and you're like do they know me what, what's the deal what's the deal with this guy the thing is i've always been very um aware of my surroundings um I think it comes down to the fact that I used to do so much wildlife photography and stuff like that, because you are literally out and about in the wilds, you're, you're just living off your senses of just hearing for the smallest noises and looking for the smallest things and just everything. You have to really be open to the world and just absorb what's going on around you and that's how you find wildlife and stuff. Well I think that's trained me to be very observant because when I'm in an area like, you know, if I'm in a, in a pub or in a crowded place or in the street or whatever, or in a shop, I am almost always aware of exactly what's going on. I don't really think about it, but I just know where people are. Is what they're doing seem normal, stuff like that. And, and every now and then someone s sort of stands out for some weird reason. It's also how I used to catch shoplifters really easy. It's just they, they stand out. They're not doing anything particularly different from anyone else, but there's just something about them that isn't quite right. And I've, yeah, so I've caught shoplifters doing that way when I used to work in shops. And then the other day when I was in the post office, this guy walks in, he's got a big puffer jacket on, he's got a baseball cap on, he's kind of, he's keeping his shoulders up a bit, his head's down, and he just starts out and like, mmm, what are you up to? I'm being very suspicious. And I'm just in the queue, and I'm, I'm looking up and down the queue, and I've instantly realised that I know there's only 75 to 80 year old people in this shop. I'm the only young person in there and this guy's looking very shifty so I find myself gripping my helmet by the chin guard a little harder and looking at my sort of angle of swing if I need to batter him. Well he wanders up and down the post office a couple of times, seems a bit weird and then leaves. Maybe he was just looking for something, I don't know, I guess that's what he was doing. But it just looked super shifty. Don't worry, I'm not up battering people where I just like, I think he's going to do something, whack! I'm, not, I'm talking about if someone actually does something. You know, say he pulled out a knife or something, within two seconds of him pulling that knife out, he would have had a helmet embedded in the side of his head. So what I'm getting at here is I'm kind of hyper aware of what's going on around me. But when you're a YouTuber as well, it makes it even worse because you know people are actually looking at you. I mean, there's been examples in the past where I'm... I'm you know, there's been plenty of examples in the past where someone's staring at me and I just know because they're staring at me a bit too long. I'm like, you're right, and they're like, hi, and I'm like, do you recognise me? And they're like, yeah, yeah. Like, well, why don't you say hello then? It's like when people say, oh, I saw you at such and such, um, but I didn't say hello. I've even had pictures of me in places where someone's taken a picture of me without me realising it and then sent it to me and said, oh, hi, uh, I saw you out and about, but I didn't want to say hello and be weird. It's like, yeah, it, it, it wouldn't have been weird to come and say hi. It's taking a picture of me covertly and then sending it to me, like, oh, I'm behind you. I could have slit your throat at any moment and you would not have known. That's weirder. 
but you're caught in this problem of when someone is staring at you and you don't know why they're staring at you but sometimes you really don't want to just go hi i take it you recognize me and they're like i'm gonna clue you are mate what are you on about and he's like oh um don't worry thankfully i think i've only ever done that once because guy just loved my bike and i do i just assumed he'd recognize me and he's like oh, no or maybe he lied i don't know but it's, it's, you know, it's weird because you know, like people with paranoia and stuff could be like, oh, I, I think that people are watching me. I, 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 you know, they know what I'm up to or if not what I'm up to. They're up to something and they're trying to be secret and yada yada. You know what I'm saying? But to a YouTuber, that's a real thing and it actually happens. And as I say, it's interesting that as this happens, when it first happens, you're completely oblivious and you're just like, what the hell? What? So, uh, you recognize me? This is insane. And after about the tenth time, it's like, is this going to keep happening? And about the hundredth time, you're just like, it's normal. It becomes normal. What are you doing, you little idiot? When, honestly, when you get to your early 20s, you realise how much of a dick you were when you were about 15. You thought you were cool. Everyone thought you were a dick. You wheeling a push bike? Do it somewhere normal? Yeah, whatever. Nice skills, bro. Do it down the middle of the road when people are just trying to get places. You're a dick. And if you get run over, I don't care. But I do care because, you know, one stupid child walks out in front of a car, gets hit and they go, oh, we have to reduce the speed limit to one. The poor children. Right, where was I? Yeah, as I say, um, as a YouTuber, you really do have people watching you and it feels like you have paranoia, but you're like, no, I don't have paranoia. It's a thing. And you get better at noticing it. And I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure that all YouTubers will have a story or two of when they, if they want to get recognised of something like this where it's happened and, and you just or the fact that you learn this extra sense and it makes you realise kind of as humans if we do something for longer our senses become very attuned way more than you'd believe and the way that we live in safe houses and safe places and all of that I think it's killing our innate abilities so when people think back to old humans like oh you know they must have been a bit stupid or something well no they actually had the same sort of intelligence levels as us it's just they had a different uh, different technology level but they were switched on animals seriously like the sense of smell would have been so much more important back then like it would have been stronger i reckon we've got those bits from other senses that we used to have and we've kind of lost but We've got the thing there, we just don't have the chemical to switch it on. It's weird. It's like finding out you've got Bluetooth, but no one wired it in. And when you live on an island like this, this whole thing gets 10 times worse, because when you live on an island, people know you anyway, because everyone knows everyone. So it's, uh, it's only so long before people who watch my videos meet someone who knows someone who knows someone, and then they end up knowing, like, oh, that's such and such. I've had people, old acquaintances of mine, who are like, oh yeah, I know that guy. His name's... If you know my name, you, and you know I'm a YouTuber, don't tell people! It's, that's part of the reason I had to get rid of all my personal social media. You know, I don't exist. I'm practically dead to most people, because I'm not on a, a personal form of social media anymore. I'm going to end this one here, because I keep going off on tangents and all sorts. Look, I'm in a totally different place. But uh, yeah, this video is basically just to say, if you are a growing YouTuber and you're starting to feel paranoid and you think that people are watching you, don't fear, it's silly. They are watching you, they can see you, they won't tell you they're there, but they will photograph you from the corners. <laughs> Honestly, I mean no malice in any way uh, to any one particular person. I've, I've, I've never talked directly about one person necessarily, uh, and very often people think that you are talking to them. Like if I say about, I don't use personal messages on like a lot of platforms anymore because I can't keep up with them. And people say, well, you were talking about my messages. Like, no, no, I'm talking about 150 people. But the whole subject of human senses being how they grow and how we have abilities beyond what you might realize you have, but you just have to do something enough for it to start coming back. It's really interesting. Anyway, thanks for watching. Catch you next time. Bye bye. If you enjoyed this video and the other content on the channel, please consider following the links in the description to show your support.